Hi everyone, so now we're going to have a look at risks and rewards, okay. So do you want to go for the high risk, do you want to go for the big rewards, or do you want to play it safe? We've got to make decisions in life, so let's uh, check out our options, okay. So first up, this is the safe bet, that's why it's called saving. Okay, so placing money in a secure place so that it grows in value and could be used in the future. Um, now, the real question is, to what extent is it really going to grow in value? Interest rates are so poor at the moment, 0.5%. So £100 put into a uh, savings account at that interest rate in a year's time will give you 50p extra. Great. So that's not too uh, handsome. So let's see what we've got here. Investments, speculative commitments now. So speculative, meaning that you're actually speculating on the value going up, okay? In the hope that it generates a financial reward. So we've obviously got to balance out these risks, these rewards, and, and just determine what is actually right for a given individual. Now, it's more than likely in your exam, you will actually get case study information about an individual and how they feel about risk and uh, what money they've got to invest and so on. And we'll look at those different savings and investments options that they can take uh, in a uh, future lesson. Uh, but just l let's uh, weigh out those risks and those rewards. So when it comes to savings, of course, there is almost zero risk of this going wrong. Okay, almost zero risk of this going wrong, particularly uh, if you are below the actual uh, bank threshold to ensure that your money is guaranteed, something that we'll look at in detail later on. Um, now, this means your money is safe, okay? It's really quite safe. Uh, but the real damage that can be done to your money when it is sat in a bank account earning such a small level of interest is inflation. Inflation's like a thief in the night, which is just gradually taking a little bit of your money away over and over time. Okay, so let's consider if we've got a 3% level of inflation, your savings have gone up 0.5%, so that £100 is now worth 150 pounds uh, hundred pounds and fifty p one year later, but actually, inflation has gone up three percent. So to keep up with inflation, you need to have one hundred and three pounds to actually maintain your current um, spending that you can actually enjoy with that hundred pounds. So the problem is that interest rates are way below the level of inflation. Uh, so inflation can reduce that spending power over time because the price of goods rise. And if your savings aren't rising at a good rate, that's, an, that's a real issue. Uh, okay, so the rewards though. Yeah, you get those interest payments, okay? And it also gives you peace of mind. Yeah, you, you're just playing it safe, all right? Uh, so let's now check out investments. So the risk here is, of course, they can fall in value. They can fall considerably in value sometimes. And you might have all or most of your actual investment wiped away. But, but of course, the opposite can happen. And you could actually make a big, big return, which is much, much better than a 0.5% level of interest. Uh, okay, so yeah, that's, that's the balancing uh, act that you've got to play in determining where you're going to put your money. Uh, there's no guaranteed return though. So when you make an investment, there's no guarantee that it's going to go up or down. There's no guarantees whatsoever. This, of course, can actually make it quite exciting. Now, if anyone in your family has ever invested in shares, they may well check their share prices quite frequently. It can be quite fun to do that. It can be uh, nice to actually just check out whether share prices are rising, uh, what the uh, value of their ISA, stocks and shares ISA is, and so on. Um, but of course, yeah, you, you do run the potential for losing some money if you put your money in at the wrong time or in the wrong place. Okay, so it's a balancing act. Let me know, which would you prefer to go for? Would you like to go for saving? Uh, would you prefer to uh, opt for various different investments? What investments would you go for and why? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks a lot, guys. Love it.